Making someone trust you is the most important life skill. Making someone trust you includes selling to someone, marketing to someone, and getting into a relationship with someone. These are the three most important things you get from learning to make someone trust you. There are many, many more that you will discover if you implement all the things I tell you today, but these are the three main ones that I like to tell someone if I teach them the things that I want to teach you today. Now. How would you love to trust someone? Would you trust someone who sells you a tree? Imagine this right now. Would you rather buy a tree from someone on eBay? A tree, right? A tree like, like these, like these right here. Would you rather buy a tree from someone on eBay who just says tree $10? Or would you rather buy a tree in the rainforest and that tree then can't get cut over and therefore you're protecting the environment with your purchase. And then on the website where you buy this, there are things like our intentions and I want to sell this tree to you in the south part of the rainforest because I care about the environment and, I th I, and if you buy the tree, they are legally not allowed to cut this tree down. Would you buy that tree rather from eBay for shits and giggles, just so you can say, oh, I have a tree somewhere. <laughs> or would you rather buy the tree from a well-designed website where they tell you why you should buy the tree and why it's important to them that you buy the tree? Then you would rather buy the tree from that website. And that leads me right into my first point, which is make clear to them why the egotistical reason is that you want what they have. Why do you want to do something for them? Why, not what. Don't tell them what you want to do. Don't tell them how you want to do it. Tell them why. Because telling someone about purpose is way more powerful than telling someone about how you want to do something. If I tell you, I will coach you in this way on these all and all of these topics, right? I will, I will, I will coach your meditation, journaling, believing in God. I will pray with you. I will tell you all these different things. I will help you make decisions. You are less likely to buy if I tell you what and how I do it for you than if I tell you why I do it for you. If I, instead of telling you all the things of how I do them and what I do, if I just tell you, I want to coach you because I would have loved to have someone like me on my side back then, then they will see, okay, it is sincere. You will then know what this guy wants to sell me isn't only for his own benefits. Of course he gets my money, but he wants to help me and he just hides it behind a paywall so I can, so, so he can make a little bit of money from it so he can focus better. Tell them the people you want to make, make trust of you, right? The people who you want to trust in you. <laughs> Tell them exactly why you are doing every single thing you're doing. Why did I decide for this price? Why do I decide to coach you? And this isn't only in terms of sales, this is also in terms of relationship. Why do you, let's say, only get into a relationship with a girl after three dates? Tell the girl exactly why you are doing something and she will trust you. Now, is this the right way with girls? Most of the time, not. Most of the time you should leave girls hanging, but I won't give relationship advice in this, right? This is just how to do it. What to do is what you need to decide. If you want someone to trust you, I'm giving you the tools to do that in this video. So if you want to decide, okay, I want this person to trust me, then you will see, okay, this is what I need to do. And this is what this video does. 
So tell them exactly why you did everything. In terms of the tree, you have to tell them, okay, the $10 are for me to fly over, purchase the land or pay the fees or something. This is how much profit I make from this. This is why I make the profit from this, right? I make the profit so I don't know, I can do this full time and I can be more effective at my job and I don't need to hire anyone. So it's actually cheaper for you to pay $1 for me to make profit than to pay I don't know, $14 instead of 10 so I can hire someone who does it for me whilst I don't make profit from it, right? You need to tell them why you are doing something and then they will figure out, okay, yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. This is a smart decision. Then you need to only tell them that you have a re reputation for this. Make your name known. Be out there. Don't be in your cave all the time because think about a man who knows that there is a present for him, but he doesn't know what is in that gift for him. Think about how much more un, like un, uneasy he's gonna be. Think about how much less he is gonna trust the person who wants to give the gift to them. That if you know exactly what is in the gift and what is there. Of course, this is boring, but trusting someone. Um, trust me, it is boring, but if you need to trust someone, you need it boring, trust me. When you need someone to trust you, you would rather have it boring and with trust than exciting but without trust. With girls, it's kind of reversed, like I just said, but like I said, this is just a toolbox in order what and when to do this. So be out there. Don't be hidden in your cave. Don't be the hidden gift, but be the obvious open gift. Be always there. Be the be, be someone who you would trust is probably the best advice that I can give. So just journal on who would I trust, right? Who would I trust? I trust a person who shows up on time, who leaves on time, who I can trust to not waste my time, who I can trust to give me some kind of return on investment for my time, my money, my energy, etc someone who is kind of predictable, but unpredictable enough for him to be fun, right? Some, some virtues you find that other people should develop to be trustworthy for you. And then you develop exactly those traits and other people will trust you. Because in terms of trust, all humans are the same. If you have one trait in terms of trust, everyone will be associating that trait with trusting someone. If you every single time show up exactly on time, people will trust you for showing up on time. Everyone will do that. They have no other choice because it's subconscious. Subconsciously, you trust someone or you don't trust someone. You can have the best offer in the world. You can have the best body, the best tone of voice, the best people skills in general. But if people don't trust you and they think you're gonna fuck them over, they are not gonna want anything to do with you. Let's say I want to sell you an iPhone. Would you rather have an iPhone for $100 or for $600? Now, in this, just, just in these simple terms, you would say, yeah, $100, sure. But let's say I have two links in the description of this video and I tell you buy the iPhone there. And on one page, you get led to a really fancy packaged page, right? And you see, okay, $600, this is new. I just sell it. I just sell it to you for a lower price because of X, Y, and Z, right? I mentioned the reasons why I'm doing certain things. And I mentioned the egotistical part of this, right? I get this from it and you get this. So it's a, it's an exchange. They see instantly what I'm doing. And on the other page, there's just one button and a blurry picture of an iPhone that says then $100. Which one would you rather pick? Now you might still say, oh, I picked the $100 one. But first of all, how do you, like in, in a real world situation, you would rather buy the $600 one than the $100 one because the $100 one is gonna have this subconscious thought of maybe he's gonna fuck me over and send me a package of rocks. You need to have a specific why for why you are doing something and make that why as known as possible to make someone trust in you. That's all I can tell you about trusting someone. 
This is the most fundamental basic advice that I've ever given on this and it has helped me come very far in terms of making people trust me. So I'm going to say that again just so you can write that down. Have, an, have a strong why. The legit why. The why you are doing something. The honest why. And then tell someone or make public that why as much as possible. Tell as many people why you are doing something to make it known that you are trustworthy. If someone knows your why, you are less the wolf in the sheep's skin. And even if you're an obvious wolf, it's better to be an obvious wolf than to be a wolf in the sheep's skin. Because if people uncover something themselves, it's always more dramatic and more emotional for them. So just make known the why that you have and people will trust you to be exactly that that you're saying. The second point on my list is make yourself associated with something that is trustworthy. I love to mention that I read the Bible and that I believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Not only because it's true and not only because He's my Lord. And this is the biggest reason I'd say this is like 99.9% .9 of the reason why I tell people this and because I want them to join me. But what I also do by doing this is I make known to them, I honor the truth. There's something about talking the truth and constantly talking about what's on your mind or seemingly talking about what's on your mind and telling people something that they think is trustworthy. There's something about this practice of revealing your heart to someone that makes them trust you. And it's very obvious. By saying, I believe in Jesus Christ, I'm open to an argument. And if you take this, this shot of 50-50, right? Being either you have someone in front of you who loves Jesus Christ and who then will be your brother, or you have someone in front of you who hates Jesus Christ and who then will be your enemy or who will just not want to do business with you because they think he's cringe, right? People will either think one or the other and this is the actual point of this, polarize. Make people know where you are and I'm telling you now that either they're gonna value what you're telling them. So in the Bible example, they're gonna value that you read the Bible and that you believe in Jesus Christ. Or they're gonna value that you, tr that you talk the truth. Even if they don't value the Bible, then they will trust you. Because you, by saying, I read the Bible, I believe in Jesus Christ to be the only Lord and the only God and the only judge and the only way that there is. Yes, I just copied that from Mar Maria Emanuel. By saying this, you are open to them walking away. And the party in a negotiation that is able to walk away from a bad deal always has the power. Imagine someone in the desert and you're the only one who to give them water. Is that guy going to be able to walk away from you because you offer him a bad deal? You can sell water to a thirsty man in the desert for a million dollars, a glass of water, and he will have to pay that if he doesn't want to die. In that second, that glass of water is the best deal he's going to get and he's not going to be able to walk away from that deal. Now offer someone in the city where there's enough water to drink the same glass of water for $1 million and he's not going to buy it because he is now able to walk away from a bad deal. And if you show yourself as able to walk away from someone, because you just said Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, they are either going to like you or not like you, or at least that's what they think. But you know that, th that two of three parties in the world will honor you and respect you and trust you for this. Only one party who hates Jesus Christ is going to walk away from you. The party who doesn't care about him is at least going to see, okay, this man, is able to walk away from this negotiation. Therefore, subconsciously, they say he is powerful and they say he is confident and they say he's not gonna fuck me over because if he is presented with a bad deal, 
he's not gonna like put that bad deal onto me. He's not gonna fuck me over. So they are either gonna honor you for the thing you say or for you saying what you think. Now you can associate yourself with other things than the Bible or Jesus Christ. The important part about this, however, is that you associate yourself with something people either agree or disagree with. Because if you face someone with that decision, then they are gonna either say yes to what you're saying, or they're gonna say yes to your confidence that it takes to say something like that, or they're gonna not like you. But that's one of three parts, right? And you can even explain this to me. You can even explain this to them. You can even say, oh yeah, I hope that you see that, that this takes a lot of like, that, that this takes a lot of confidence for me to say this or something else, right? You can, you can tell them exactly what they should think about you these days. You can say, okay, yeah, I want you to trust me. I want you to trust me on this, start meditation or start meditation. Who are you gonna trust more? The person who literally tells you, trust me on this or the person who doesn't say anything at all. You can just tell them what to do or what to think and they will at least visualize what you're thinking if they are attentively listening to you, which they should be. I'm gonna be making a guide on how to make people listen attentively in the future so you can subscribe to my channel right now to not miss that. Now have a nice day and master your mind.